what's up guys back with another video so i want to say something important whenever you step outside and it's cold you get cold and behind me right now we have a 2012 i think uh journey we're changing out the radiator we're changing out the uh upper radiator hose because it cracked and let's go ahead and we already took the grill off we're taking off the air box here so we'll get access to the lower hose right there and remove it so it's a cold day so i don't want to be outside at all i'm cold um if anybody wants to sponsor me with some car hearts because these are these are not car hearts these are want to be these are not car hearts uh, so I could keep warm let me know that'll be great um, so we went ahead and disconnected the air box we already took the grill off we took the horn out the way right now we're gonna disconnect this so let's get to it okay so now we just gotta pull up and it should come right off Cool. Now we just gotta take this jug out the way. That's two tens, no eights. It's out. It's out. Move this out the way. You can just move it to the side so that you don't have to drain the whole fluid from in there. And next. Okay. So this radiator comes out from the front, meaning you have to take the grill off or you have to take the bumper out. Um, let's go ahead and remove the clips right here. We're gonna remove this clip right here. So we can move the condenser. Out the way. Cool. Check it out. We went ahead and removed this 10 millimeter that's holding up the condenser lines. Now we can move it. Now guys, yeah. we went ahead and disconnected the radiator hose from the bottom. And we went ahead and removed the transmission cooler because this was on the way. We just disconnected that and uh, removed that bolt from this side and radiator comes right out wiggling but go. so we took it out without disconnecting the condenser because if we, if we disconnect the condenser then all that freon is gonna come out so compare the new radiator with the old radiator make sure it matches up this one's upside down so you just want to match up the radiator make sure everything's the same before going back in everything does look the same so let's go ahead and install this one go ahead and slide it down be careful so that you don't damage the new one okay there you go. Make sure it clips in right there. And let's go ahead and connect the hoses. All we gotta do is connect the bottom radiator hose in and to connect the transmission or your cooler back in. And it should be ready to go. Forgot the little clip. And let's go ahead and install back the transmission or cooler. Put the clip make sure you put the clips back in and let's go ahead and clip it back in there you go make sure they clip put the plastic lock okay cool and go ahead and put the bolts back in
Okay, put the lower one. good these are back in they're locked in there locked in place this has to lock in there but it keeps slipping out hmm. now let's go ahead and install the upper radiator hose okay so this one we we'll just go ahead and remove the old piece that was broken off This okay. got the old one out easily. Install it. You just slide it in. Okay, so we got the radiator hose back in. I decided to put a hose clamp like this because the other one wasn't going in. So let's go ahead and connect the top one. So this one goes right here. All right, cool. Grab your holes, pliers, grab your pliers. back right here just making sure the bottom one's in mm -hmm. okay that one's in right, guys check it out we got the radiator hose back on and we just gotta click this one up here like this cool we're gonna put the box back in here Oh, it's right here. Turn this out a little bit. There we go. Alright, slide it in. Make sure it sits correctly. There you go. Let's go ahead and put the dipstick back in. Transmission dipstick. They need a new filter. I'm gonna tell them. And so that's in. Put the top cover up in. Done. We just gotta put the grill back on, but it should turn on like this. It's no worries. This is the antifreeze that customer brought me, so I'm just gonna put it in. I might need more, so I have to call a customer. So I'm not more coolant.
right, guys, we are done. Bumpers in, radiators in, hoses in, everything's lit in. We're just letting it circulate, waiting for the fans to kick in, and should be ready to go. So, thanks for watching, and peace.